Cancers, and welcome to your tarot reading card. This is from December 20th to the 26th of 2021. <clears throat> so let's get started with your reading, Cancers. <clears throat> this reading is for Cancer Sun and anywhere that you have Cancer in your chart. This is your reading. Anytime you see this, <clears throat> it will be um, in divine timing, of course, and the right time for you. Oh, divine timing. Something about divine timing. Okay, something about divine timing. I guess that's a message there for all of you cancers. Um, this reading, I'm going to show you your recent past, your current energy, um, your immediate future, what is coming from you, and the possible outcome, and then I will clarify the cards. If the reading uh, resonates, claim it 100%. If not, look at your other placements. I also want to uh, extend uh, happy holidays to all of you out there. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Buen Natal. Joyeux. Joyeux Fête or Joyeux Noël, <laughs> Joyeux Noël, okay, and uh, and also Happy Annika uh, to people out there or, or anybody that's celebrating Christmas, if you are, um, I hope that you are celebrating Christmas with the people that you care about, okay, and I wish you all the best. So let's get started here, Cancer. Cards are ready. Okay, Cancers, <clears throat> feels like that for some of you CMCs out there, it's like uh, 10, you know, you take, to, take 10 steps forward and then 10 steps back, something happens. Some of you are also in a very good space right now, but uh, a lot of you are also uh, really to yourself at this time. In the overall energy, you got the full reversed. So definitely here, you're not taking a leap of faith in a situation. You're not jumping into anything. You're not going to be jumping into anything in that way, like you did in the past. Baby steps. Okay? You're being guided to take baby steps. Okay, so in the recent past year, there's something here that I feel that there could have been a loss maybe around you, or there was a lot of, there's a, a lot of letting go of um, connections of your past, uh, really looking at, at the, you know, forgiveness or overcoming like um, there's a lot of resentment hurt guilt in the situation here okay that caused uh at, it caused uh, not, you're not confused because you've been shown the truth right and you're, uh, but at the same time you're not in the in the recent past there's no motivation here in the past or recent past no motivation uh within yourself uh, not feeling inspired not feeling you know not in, in a good space uh and also not dreaming big about anything. In the current energy, you got the Three of Pentacles. So in the current energy, there is collaboration. Okay, uh, maybe around workplace could be. A, it doesn't have to be just a workplace, but just maybe you're helping others or just a. There's a strong foundation here in a situation. This is what you're showing me. But with the Temperance and the Six of Swords reversed, patience is needed, communication is needed, and it's like. Um, you know, what's taking place right now is that it's not only that, it's something needs to be moderated because something has been stagnant in your life. There's been stagnancy, stagnancy. So it's about shifting that, okay? Um, and uh, it's about moderating, also balancing, moderating, not only your body, your mind, your spirit, your soul, everything together uh, and not making any rash decisions, okay? Energy, this is what I feel. Or there's some type of spark here that's not taking place in the way that you want. With the Six of Swords reversed, 
Some of you maybe are not being able to relocate or move. That could be part of it. But others of you, it's like you're, you're feeling stuck in a situation that you're not able to go through it. Like, it's as if, like, you're doing all the work cancers, okay? You're doing everything right, okay? And, and, and you know, you, you're you doing everything that needs to be done. But you're losing your patience here because you're saying, when is this going to happen? Why is it like, you know, I'm... I, you know, I feel a lot of you see that you see beautiful. There's blessings around you. You see the grat. You're very great, grateful, and you see and you feel and you know there's things that are taking place. But then it's like there's a stop. So I don't know what's going on here. There's like some sort of not being able to go through a transition. Okay, and it's been difficult because of the past mistakes and because of the 18 months of uh, the South Node being in Sagittarius, and it's a and it did affect you here, um, Cancers. Okay. Now, in where you are at, you are here with this Queen of Cups energy, okay? So you are able to give love, okay? You're emotionally available. You're able to give love, express your love. Um, but it's the current has been strong around you in a situation here. And you hold the cup, not like this, like here. You're holding it close to your heart. Are you willing to give it or you're not willing to give it? Is Because I feel that you're still mourning here or releasing, okay? You're still releasing resentment hurt guilt and maybe at the same time okay you're concentrated or focused on the things that went wrong but you're not looking at the whole picture okay in a situation where there's been it's something that you know i need to look more into the reading now in the hope in the hopes and fears you got the sun so the sun will be coming through okay here and this will bring you happiness and joy and abundance okay with the sun and what's being hidden from you is that you're going to pass through this situation. And whatever that you've been manifesting and putting out there, you're, it's coming in for you. This could be three days, three weeks, or three months from now. But this is definitely going to come in for you, okay? This is about your ships coming in. And in the possible outcome, you've got the Ten of Swords with the Knight of Swords. Again, an ending that's taking place karmically still. That's taking place here. Uh, the Ten becomes a One. There is light at the end of the tunnel here, okay? And with the Knight of Swords, there will be an unexpected message. And that's what's going to be the reading of this unexpected message, because that's what it is. There's some type of unexpected message that will come in for you. Okay. I feel like in the in the recent past here, okay, if I just look, there was, because look, I'm just going to, because like a spirit just goes, well, just show them because, you know, they need to see this. Okay. There was no stability or something, there was not, nothing stable coming in to stay. Okay. Uh, there was a tower moment. There was unexpected changes, uh, messages not coming in. And around you was the energy with the five of swords, okay? Of people not having your back. People could have been lies and deceits. People really taking shots at you, okay? This is what a lot of you were dealing with, Cancers, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to clarify the cards and see what else here they're going to show us. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's look at the full reversed in the overall. The star reversed. The queen of cups reversed. The sun reversed. Wow. King of wands reversed. The five of swords. Okay, there's a reason. These are challenge. This is like when it's the overall, it's like the challenge here of the overall. Queen of Swords reversed. They're just showing me something that took place here for you. And what's the outcome of it? Yeah, you've been through hell. <laughs> Cancers. Hell back and forth, right? Okay. I'm just gonna show you these cards. It's important that you understand why I take many cards. It's not, it's, it's the divine coming in, wanting to share this message, especially for those that are cross-watching and wanting to hear about cancer, okay? Because cancer knows what they've been through. <laughs> so yeah, star card reversed. It's about a dream, okay? That uh, losing faith in a dream or dreams that you wanted, that you built, that you've been wanting for such a long time, you know, to come true, okay? Uh, losing inspiration, in a situation the sun reversed there was a lot of unhappy times in the past you were not emotionally available at that time to give because you had to give to yourself first okay also 
with the king of wands reverse not going after your dreams okay not going and not being in a good place as well uh there was a lot of fighting drama again you see you got the five of wands and you got the five of wands in your healing card the inner child right so a lot of fighting uh, 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 fighting uh, uh these energies that obstacles that were coming stopping you in every cycle okay uh it could be jealous people or envious people around you okay and what i see here is someone walked away from a situation but they overcame the situation okay it took a long time someone here with the queen of swords reverse cut communication is angry cut communication is not seeing any doesn't want to see or feel anything in uh, okay shut down shut down with the five of swords right there was people around that did not have your highest good people that were playing games people that were not there for you but in overall, all of that came through, okay? You got the Two of Wands, the King of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the Ten of Cups energy. Someone here is taking time to heal. There's still time out. Someone is healing, okay? Their body, their mind, their spirit, and finding the clarity and the truth. Even though you're making plans, you're texting, you're doing plans, there's still something holding you back, Cancers here, okay? Some of you are in healing, and there is a King of Cups energy Someone that's emotionally available here. I have the King and Queen of Cups. Someone that is able to express themselves. They have a lot of wisdom. And what's around you is the Ten of Cups. So there could be a soulmate relationship here that's coming in. New beginnings. Now, let's say you're single. You're not talking well. Yeah, but sometimes if you're at the right place and at the right time, you could meet somebody. That's what could, could take place. Okay, and then there is a soulmate energy. A new beginning taking place here. Now, let's look at the Seven of Cups reversed in the recent past. What is the Seven of Cups reversed about? The Six of Cups. It's about feeling nostalgic, memories of the past. The Two of Pentacles reversed. And what's coming in for you is that even though you're going through all of this, the Divine is coming in to shed some light. Okay? All of you let, let go okay, of your dreams even though they're still in your heart. You let go of your dreams. You're having a lot of uh, memories. You're thinking about the past, okay? And uh, where once maybe you were being pulled in many different directions, um, something got dropped here. You dropped something or someone here in a situation. And going through everything, I'm just gonna take an extra card. Yes, I will show you the card. But I just wanna take an extra card on that. Why is the two of pentacles reversed? Okay. And something did, you know, again, you got the Ace of Cups, uh, the Ace of Wands reversed here. Okay. Uh, so, you know, not finding the passion, the inspiration, the motivation within. It was all, maybe you were angry, a lot of frustration. Uh, but Spirit saying that you overcame, you overcame the situation. You were strong enough. God only gives you what you are able to handle. And you all got the Lover's Card with the Ace of Cups. This is about abundance coming in, okay? In any shape, way, or form. It could also be about love. It's about forgiveness. It's about uh, feeling overwhelmed, but at peace. And there is a special connection here. There's definitely a strong soulmate connection. It could be a lover, a friend, or a twin soulmate. And there's a choice to be made here in, the, in this situation. Now, let's look at the Ace of Wands reversed. In the Ace of Wands reversed, you got the Three of Swords. Oh boy, the five of the five of pentacles, justice reversed, the chariot reversed with the nine of pentacles. A lot of you concentrated on your finances and your career, or whatever it is that you're doing that keep you occupied. Okay, because yeah, there's a lot of anger, frustration, repressed emotions. Uh, some of you were dealing with loss or a uh, broken heart. Okay, trying to heal that. A lot of you feel. Uh, abandoned, left out in the dark in the situation, okay? Uh, very, very, uh, this is in the past here that took place. And you're still, some of you are mourning someone that you lost. And also not only that, but just mourning the relationships that did not work out. Because some, something was uh, lopsided here, okay? Something was not in balance. Maybe there was lies. And with the chariot you came into your own reading is that you did not take your power back and you did not, you're, you were not able to move forward at this time. Because, but at the same time, you started working on yourself. That's when you started putting a lot of work in yourself, okay? On your pentacles, wanting to reach the ten of pentacles. And, uh, you know, feeling very independent here. 
and uh, some of you did have some type of raise or some type of money or loan that came in now let's look at the five of cups energy okay let's look at this five of cups this five of cups comes in with the hermit reversed the hangman reversed now something was definitely stagnant in the past okay and something that you needed to surrender to um you know uh there was some type of rejection here okay wait a sec wait a second because i do have a lot of uh, messages so you know mourning a, a, a situation here uh it could have been some type of rejection uh someone here not wanting to see what the divine wanted to give them uh, someone you're definitely coming out of the dark night of the soul sometimes maybe you're dealing with a virgo or someone that is a virgo right now or someone that you're dealing with that is not able to give at this time uh, but for some of you this is coming out of time where you were taking time out for yourself and this could have been from uh, coming out from september uh feeling empowered okay uh but still uh not looking forward you're not you know you were in the moment and a lot of you were going through a spiritual awakening you had to surrender and the spiritual awakening took place where you saw the clarity on everything but definitely here there's something that's coming into balance that whatever you give you are receiving so there is a start sometimes or it could also be that you made some money you're, and then you lost some money uh, for others of you if this is a finance okay um, or uh, this has to do with love that or or a situation where something is definitely going to come in balance here and you gave yourself to a lot of people okay like you gave selflessly and so now a lot is coming back to you okay so now let's look at the three of uh pentacles in the current energy you got the knight of swords the tower so there will be unexpected change coming in okay um because there's something that's been stagnant for such a long time right cancers a long long time something has been stagnant okay this is about uh, you finding closure it could be tying up who sends whatever it is okay unfinished business the tower is coming in okay the tower intervention is coming in you will be expecting on okay on un, unexpected changes coming in there will be with the nine of swords an unexpected message the message that's going to come in is uh, cooperation and a strong foundation here so what is this what is this unexpected i'm going to ask one more card for the uh, knight of swords what is this unexpected message about okay you got the five of cups the knight of cups the leo strength card okay there's some type of freedom here okay so let's say there's there's someone from the past that hurt you cancers okay for someone because there's so many storylines so please bear with me on this one okay unexpected message coming in that's going to bring you collaboration working together or a strong foundation here in the situation someone here is still mourning with the five of cups still releasing the hurt the guilt everything something is taking place here okay uh, where someone is trying to find a silver lining they're coming out of the situation they're coming out of it seeing the whole picture okay um there's definitely there's someone here coming in wanting to shower you with love someone here is coming in with love okay they're coming in and some of you are dealing maybe with a virgo i do have leo capricorn just to name a few sagittarius okay uh, just to name a few out there um this is Saturn energy okay something is really being cleared sad with the Saturn energy there's freedom for you could this for some of you this could be a divorce okay and uh or someone that uh cleaned up their act from the past that maybe they had unhealthy relationships maybe they had addictions maybe they had thought patterns that they couldn't uh, muster through whatever it is here <clears throat> there's a beautiful healing that's going to take place it's about strength having that self-confidence taming something within them or you and a beautiful healing okay so this is in the current energy now let's look at temperance reversed in the current energy as well the page of cups the empress inner child being healed here okay inner child being healed the three of pentacles <laughs> well patience is the key so work on your patience okay uh don't don't make any rash decisions or big movements at this time especially because 
uh, you know, communication is the key here. But there's definitely a, a new emotional experience taking place with the Empress. This could be about love and finances, inner child being healed as well at the same time. New opportunities are coming, knocking on your door. This is about having that Midas touch. And again, with the Three of Pentacles, there is cooperation here and a strong foundation. Now let's look at the Six of Swords again, reversed in the current energy. So let's look at the Six of Swords. The Four of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. Judgment. What's this judgment? Oh, Swords. Okay. So what happens is that uh, Cancer, some of you are hard, having a hard time, and a lot of Cancers, and it's not a judgment or anything, but Cancer sometimes have a hard time letting go of the past about emotions, people, or whatever that took place, okay? So a lot of what's taking place that you could move forward if you want to, okay? Now, if you just, okay, I'm talking about people or situation. If you lost someone that crossed over, it's not the same thing. So I'm not relating to people that cross over. I'm relating to people that are having a hard time letting go of the past, okay? Um, you worry, you can't sleep at night. And the more you worry, the more that you're going to create that, Okay, um, this happened in the past tense, endings with the Ten of sword, uh, Swords. Okay, you've seen the light of the day, but you're still holding on tightly. Or is it to money, to a job maybe? Maybe you need to change or shift. Is it a relationship? Okay, holding on to their life. But at the same time, while you're holding on, you're reevaluating everything. I'll see, you're seeing how far you've come. You seeing, you know, with the pentacles, especially like, you know, how much you invested, how much you made. And uh, also you've been watering your own, you've been watering, taking care of yourself, right? And being at crossroads here, I'm just going to take it, and, but there will be a judgment that's going to come in. Okay. There will be a shift here. Maybe it's not going to be a big shift. Maybe it will, maybe it'll be subtle, but you will feel it most definitely. I'm just going to ask another card for the judgment overall. What's the judgment card about? Yeah. Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups. There's a uh, some type of uh, an offer that's coming in. Okay. Divinely guided to come in for you, to help you along the way. Some type, just, you know, the beginning part. But there's resistance on someone's part here, whether it's you or them. Someone here is scared. Scared of what? Fear. Change. Whatever. Okay, and you know, cancers don't do well because they like uh, famili fil uh, familiarity. So cancers have a hard time um, accepting or, or wanting that change, okay, even though they truly do want it. Okay, there's resistance here. But fear no more. With the Queen of Pentacles here, this talks about the queen, king or queen of your castle. Being reliable, very successful, okay, victory, very nice. All right, whatever this offer is, don't be scared. Maybe you had an offer like this in the past and you got screwed over, but you're not going to get screwed over here anymore. You are protected. Now, let's look at the Queen of Cups and how you are. Eight of Wands. The Six of Swords, <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. Well, 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 Cancers. Where you are right now and what you're receiving is a second chance. Something is coming in destined and faded your way. The wheel's turning in your favor. It's about being at the right time, at the right place, at the, uh, being at the right place at the right time. Huh? And luck. A lot of messages are going to be coming in, fast-paced messages and you're going to get past all of this stuff that you have to go through. And you're going to be, yes, you're going to go through a transition. It won't be an easy one. Like, okay, it's everything magical. No. But you are going to be going through a transition um, and healing. Also, some of you might be relocating or moving in the near future. Let's look at the sun cards and the hopes and fears. Because, look, you got the Ace of Cups. The Three of Pentacles, I have to show you this, and the Sun. Come on. Cards don't lie. The mind never lies. There's happiness here waiting for you. Abundance. Stability. Abundance. Abundance. 
These two cards are abundance, okay? That are coming in. Forgiveness, Cancers. Yes, forgiveness. Also, let's look at the sun. Oh. <laughs> it's all in divine timing, Cancers. And that's the thing. The patience that a lot of you are running out is because a lot of you have been waiting for a long time for this divine timing. But it's coming in. I'm telling you. You got the sun, the ten of pentacles, the page of wands, and the four of wands. Strong foundation. There's going to be some type of proposal. This could be about buying land, buying a home, renovating, flip-flop. I don't know why I said flip-flop. Flip and flop. No. Flipping houses, that is what they came to me, okay, for some of you out there. But definitely happy events taking place in the home. In divine timing, okay, you've been seeing the signs, the start of something passionate. There's a start of some stability and also love offering for you. It's positive news. And I got the sun with the Ten of Pentacles. Unexpected money coming in? Probably. From where? From the universe. Yeah, okay. Could be a new whatever this offer if this is an offer of, of some type of opportunity that's coming for you it's going to bring you to your retirement very early in age okay very positive because your dreams are coming true with the three of wands here so let's see what's hidden from you amazing reading yes stay positive cancers stay positive two of swords reversed you made a decision there's some type of decision or something that, you know, a lot of you have been keeping to yourselves, Cancers, okay? You're not saying anything to anybody here, okay? There's a decision, a private decision, something that was weighing on you for such a long time. You have to open that heart chakra. There's some type of forgiveness for someone out there to open that heart chakra because this is a wish fulfillment that's coming in with the Three of Wands energy. Your manifestations are coming on the forefront, Queen of Wands, the King of Pentacles. This song is it's just, there's a song that's playing in my head, but it's a Christmas song. I don't know, uh, Wonderland, something about Wonderland. It's, it just keeps replaying that verse. Okay, you got the Queen of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. This is what you're not seeing right now. King, Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. Again, you got the King and Queen of Pentacles. You got the King and Queen of Cups energy. The Queen of Wands talks about someone that's very magical here. The, uh, it's, a, it's a phoenix rising from the ashes. King of Pentacles, someone that's stable, okay, reliable. The King and Queen of their castle here. Someone that's magical, very creative, very outgoing, rising up from the darkness into the light. Definitely here, stability, being reliable. Like, you got the Wheel of Fortune. You got the Ten of Pentacles. You got the Strength card. You got the Ten of Cups. There's definitely a Twin Soul Mate energy in it reading here. There's Or there's something of the past here for some of you, for sure. And it's about forgiveness. Forgiveness is a big key here. Let's look at the Knight of Swords and the, let's see what the Knight of Swords brings us in the possible outcome because there is an unexpected message the moon reversed nice oh my god what am i gonna do here all these cards came out can't there's a storyline here okay so i have to give you the way this is and I also this was another card that showed up a lot of you stop manifesting or this could be someone that you're dealing with. So someone here is was stuck stuck in a uh, not they weren't with the divine love, okay? With divine love or stuck in an energy of 3D, you know, in in a, in a dark place or not in a good place. So not really manifesting, okay? Not really. Tr Some of you were not able to rise raise your vibration or raise your frequency okay in a situation here because there was an ending that took place we we, we we know that right okay 
maybe you were feeling stuck at that time. You know, you were overthinking a situation too long. Maybe you are stuck in a situation where you can't get out of, okay? Because you made a prior commitment to something or someone. Uh, with the King of Swords reverse here, someone was very angry. Okay, was not, because I do have the King and Queen of Swords reversed. Okay, someone that was very angry here, not able to communicate. Uh, of course, there was no in, there was no communication whatsoever. Not able to see or realize or perceive anything new, okay, in the situation. Something that was not successful. I'll get to the good part very soon. I'm just going through something here, okay, I have to show you. Someone here uh, released energy or removed energy and this had to do with the past people places interferences a lot of things were being shown to you or because you went through a spiritual awakening so you got shown the truth the truth the truth was in front of you all this time it's not your fault it's okay we're humans we all make mistakes we have to learn to accept these mistakes that it's normal this is how we do our this is how we grow okay and uh so that definitely here, uh, you know, you have a lot of dreams and goals and desires and you're going for them. Something is opening here for you. You released, okay, the fears and uh, a lot of unusual dreams you've been receiving. Of course, with the full moon in Gemini, this is when I'm recording this. The moon also is bringing in something for you, okay? And what's it coming in? Well, you got the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Learning higher lessons, higher high, le learning that lessons of the past finally, and reaching or and uh, you know raising going to the next paradigm. Something about going to the next paradigm, higher learning, higher understanding, and higher purpose. There could be marriage here for you, okay. Um, with the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, uh, there's definitely someone here coming in slowly. They're gonna there's some type of offering that's taking place, some stability. This could be about uh, money as well or this is you planning or f planning ahead and with the ace of pentacles there's definitely some type of money coming in here for you a gift or money all right and uh now i didn't even have <laughs> let's see let's see what this knight of swords is because i you know just one more card overall you see how the cards came out when they come out like that you have to take them out the Nine of Wands is coming in with the Knight of Swords. There's action here. There's passion here. And there's the truth that's coming in. Okay. And underneath the deck, you got the Ten of Wands. It's been difficult. There's been obstacle over obstacle. But there's an ending again. Endings taking place. New beginnings. Your guards are down completely. You're not looking back into the past anymore in the same way. Your heart opened to unconditional love. You're going to get clarity from the divine. Communication. The crown back where it belongs right and what what's taking place all this is taking place and i have to show you and this is the first time that i had to do a reading like this i never did a reading like this okay that i used all my cards impossible the way this came out this was divinely for you because you guys needed to hear this someone needed to hear this even if it's one person you got temperance high priestess the emperor the two of cups and the fool there's a new beginning taking place here and this could take place early on from december now till march of 2022 okay and uh this is about following your intuition right that's like your healing card says you're surrendering follow your intuition it's about having that patience that you cultivated divine intervention is taking place here for you and you've been moderating you have you've been been patient and uh maybe some of you are dealing with a sagittarius this is about maybe a business okay commitment can be a commitment, setting up new rules, new boundaries here that's taking place and a new beginning taking place and two people coming together, taking that leap of faith. So yeah, it's about coming full circle, Cancers. And I hope that you did enjoy your reading. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Know that I have your back and I love you all. Remember, we are love, we are one, and um, we are love, we are light, and we are one. Please take care and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.